Hey guys, this is Brick, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. In the last episode, we reached the Dragon Eyrie and saw some really crazy shit in the sky. Now, we're not going to be dealing with the crazy shit right now. We're going to be moving along, getting to a bonfire really quick. Go ahead and take this little right thing. You can just drop right down there, but, you know, I like to take the intended path. There are a lot of rickety bridges, don't worry. Uh, only one of them will possibly fall and destroy you. I'm going to quickly run back to Majula. I just want to make sure you guys know where the bonfire was. Didn't think you'd miss it, but, you know, completion's sake. Alright, all I did was upgrade the blue flame from plus zero to plus five. Cost me 15 twinkling titanite, but it'll actually be not shit now, so that's good. Now, the first thing you're going to notice about this place is it's a little bit winding. Second thing you're going to notice is that these fuckers are here. <laughs> Come on. Make sure you kill them before they explode because they'll knock your ass right off the bridge. Without even so much as a goodbye or a sorry. Now, the third thing you're going to notice is that there is a fair amount of items just randomly strewn about this place. And they're pretty much all consumables. Fourth thing. I know, I got a list. Dragon eggs. Breaking them is not wise. And I'll tell you why. Because it makes the dragons angry. It has a very uh, unseen effect on something that happens later. In fact, I'm not even sure if that's true. Anyway, I went the wrong way at first. So we're going to go up really quick. Actually, there might be an item right here. Hello? There are a lot of crystal lizards in this zone as well. Like a ton. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not going to be covering every item in this place because some of them are just a pain in the ass to get and totally not worth it. Now, this swing looks a little closer than the ones in the sky. Yeah, we just fought one of these. And now it's just hanging out here as a regular enemy. That's special, isn't it? There are crystal lizards running all over this battlefield, but I don't want to worry about them. I would rather worry about the giant dragon, whose health bar is not on the bottom of the screen, making it slightly more difficult to tell what the hell is going on. But it's up there. You can put two and two together, right? It makes four. Woo! You almost got me there, big guy. Oops. Oh, Jesus. That second stomp. I don't want to use all of these, because I have... If you think this is the... Oh, jeez. Did it just... Did I just lose my magic in his chin? I think I did. You fight these guys in the exact same way. The only difference is they can't go hiding on the side of the cage, so... It's probably going to take you less time. There's no delay tactics. I'm just going to hurl away at this thing while it breathes fire. There we go. All right, one down. There will be more but we'll make it. It actually drops its own little set of uh, consumables, but really, there's just consumables all over this place. It's great for farming this stuff uh, if you have bonfire aesthetics, so that's good. Come right here and grab this, the dragon tooth. This is the only item of worth or note in this entire place. The dragon tooth is Havel's weapon from Dark Souls 1, so if you were missing it, well, miss it no longer. Kill this lizard. Break that open. Is there even anything in here? Is this worth my time or am I just killing babies? I'm just killing babies. Might regret that later. We'll find out. I still don't know if there was any truth to that thing I read. Anyway, there's just a bunch of different pathways to this place. And they all kind of end up at the same place. You can actually go up here and jump onto the dragon's head, I believe. Which is cool. But it does have the little animation that comes with like spiking someone on the head too. I'm trying to orient myself so I don't get you guys lost, but if you cross that bridge right there, that was where the, uh... Wait. I have no idea where I am. Oh god! Oh wait, yes I do. Okay, so... Shit, I'm backtracking. Wait, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. 
We're above the area where we just explored underground before. That item is a pain in the ass to get. I will not be getting it. Screw you. It's just a soul of a great hero. It's not worth my time. Go ahead and grab this item. Make sure you don't get swatted by this guy. Go on and cross this. Hello, flying dragons of awesomeness. I guess you're all wyverns, really. You're not actually dragons, but I'm not one to nitpick. I'm not really gonna get into the lore of this game because it's very convoluted and confusing, and I just don't. I don't want to argue with it with people in the comments and that sort of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Now, there's this archway of bones, and or I guess, I don't even know, it's some sort of rock formation. I always thought of it as bones, now that I think about it. Um, it's weird. Sorry, egg. You must suffer. Petrified dragon bone. This place has tons of stuff, so... Upgrading boss weapons here is not too bad. We got a sleeping drake right there, and naturally we're going to kill it. What up, big boy? Wake on up, you bitch! Oh, this is your tail? I got confused. <laughs> I am not a dragonologist. Now, that stomp attack has some pretty sharp turn, so I recommend rolling to the other foot. It makes it very difficult for it to catch you. Same technique actually works on the boss one, but... Most of the time, the boss one will just fucking take off. All right, cool, nice and quick. Probably would not nearly has been had the, the would not have been nearly as fast without upgrading the weapon first. Glad I did that. Excuse me, are you kidding me right now? Oh, you're gonna hide in a rock? That's cheating. That you just cheated. Surrounded by cheaters. <sighs> okay, well, let's go ahead and enter this little rock. Hello, you stupid, stupid creature. Now, there's another way down on top of this thing. It's actually just across. It's right over there somewhere. Now, out here. But I'm going to be doing it the cool man way. You know what I mean? Because I'm a cool man. I'm going to drop down on this thing like a sack of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly kill myself in the process. Totally worth it. There is actually a plunging attack you can do. I still haven't ever done it. I can't figure that shit out. I think he might have to land on its back rather than its head. I don't know what he's... Do oh, Jesus. That's a tail slam. Whoop! Whoop! That attack comes back. The attack that keeps on giving. Go ahead and stomp one of your... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't even know where to run. This is a small arena. Okay. I'm all right. <laughs> Toasty! Woo! I apologize if... I <coughs> If I kind of rush through this place. Honestly, it's mazy, and it's not worth the maze. It's a gorgeous area, don't get me wrong. I love this zone. It is aesthetically on my top five things in the universe. But it's actually not... It's kind of an annoying zone to navigate, so I'm just not gonna. They actually do take advantage of the fact that you get the aged feather right before this. Um... Because there is a fair amount of items that you can drop down to to get Ring of the Evil Eye plus one. I guess that's kind of worth it. Soul of a Great Hero. There are a couple of items that you can drop down to on, like, cliff edges. And there's no way up afterwards. It is, it's a one-way trip, and it's made that way. Because you have the Aged Feather, you have infinite Homer Bones. And they know that now, so they can, they can do stuff like that. And that's kind of cool. Glad to see them taking, like, a Legend of Zelda style approach to that. It's pretty neat. All right, now before we go that way on that long, much cooler bridge, let's quickly take the zip line. Oh yeah! Don't drop off of it. We need to stay on it just for this time. You can drop off of it the other times. But we need to go up here and kick down a ladder because now we have a shortcut to the bonfire and you can explore this place as much as you like. This is the zip line right back. This will take you right to the end, so you don't even have to deal with the maze. Now, there is a way to drop off on this thing and get that item, but... <laughs> no. It's the soul of a great hero. Your curiosity has been sated. There really are just consumables all over this place. It's kind of like a, an Easter egg hunt, so I'm going to... 
I'm going to leave it to you and pretend that uh, it's an Easter egg hunt and not that I just really don't want to do it, okay? It's my birthday. I think I can get away with it today, okay? Now, as you cross this bridge, you kind of get shaky. The camera zooms in. You start to lose your footing. Now, I do recommend you sprint because legend has it that the more dragon eggs you destroyed on the way here, the less time you have on that bridge. If you spend too much time, a giant dragon will come down and knock that bridge into pieces. But we have now entered the Dragon Shrine, which I will definitely be more detailed about. Let us light a bonfire. Take a rest. And then stand up. Now, the guys that guard this place can be a bit of a hassle. These ones aren't too bad. Sword and shield. Same rules as the guy in the hide tower. Or as the guys in the hide tower. Just kind of move this way. The same rule as like half of the bosses in this game. Just rotate. But, there's another kind that I, I don't think I've ever successfully killed. I always run. Seriously. Go ahead and whack this chest just to make sure it's not going to eat us. I know I made a statement where I said that I think we got the last mimic in the game. I would prefer if you didn't listen to that. Because I have a feeling I was wrong. I just don't. I wouldn't trust a statement like that. That's something a mimic would say. Now come on under the staircase and use a Pharaoh's Lockstone. Place it right on in there. Open up this wall. And inside we'll find some more treasure. Glorious. Just simply, simply wonderful. In fact, there's a, there's just a lot of treasure in here. We got a Staff of Wisdom and the Judgment Set, which is cool. Or the Set of Judgment, if you want to be perfect about how it was portrayed there. Let's see why you would. Now, you've been hearing these sounds. There is a Miracle Caster right above us that shoots these little balls. And when they land, they have a massive knockback AoE with very little damage. It's extremely annoying. Just try to ignore it. Now, we got Hammer Man here. He is of the Hammer Bros. And this is, for some reason, the hardest enemy type in the entire goddamn video game for me. I... There's... There's a mental block that comes with these enemies that I just can't seem to get over. But I'm actually I'm doing much better now. But they have unlimited stamina. I'm guessing maybe with a heavy shield these guys aren't that bad? But I just... I can't stand them. Alright. We're about to get hit by another AoE. That's annoying. Look at those swings. It just goes. Die. All right. I was exaggerating when I said I probably never killed them before, but... That's because I just killed them. <laughs> All right. Let's go on up the staircase. You can go right behind where he is. It's just a faster way to get to the end of this place, but that's not what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to get everything. Because there's actually items of value here. Crazy, I know. Oh, that's a stab. Guess you can't rotate that one. He just just... You killed my treasure chest! That had items in it! Son of a bitch! Wait, no! <laughs> it was just a twinkling titanite. No panic. No panic. I just... <laughs> Oh, I got some Drake Keeper Gauntlets. Nice. And some rubbish. Cool. Guess I get to cover rubbish. Since I was had that so rudely destroyed. Now, you. You've been causing me some issues, you prick. I think he tries to teleport or heal or something. Just murder his ass. Don't let him do any of that. Grab a faint stone. And then successfully make this jump. <laughs> Holy shit. That was bad. Alright, if you come down the staircase right here, well, you're back at... You know where you are. You're you're totally you're oriented. You know where you are. This is a relatively straightforward area. Actually, most of this game is relatively straightforward, especially when you compare it to the last game or even more recently the, the DLCs. Oh my god. I'm I'm both excited and horrified to do those, seriously. It's going to be a, a great nightmare. Oh, hello. He's going to watch me. You, you jealous that I get to open a treasure chest, big man? Mmm. Great Keeper, Great Axe, and Great Shield. Oh, baby. He's jealous. 
All right, now we can go ahead and drop down onto solid earth and come up here and meet with Hammerman and his friend. This is not a favorable fight. I highly doubt that I will win this fight. He also shoots magic. I'm not going this way. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to roll through some boxes. And these cool cats are going to leave me alone. I think. I hope. I pray. Is there an illusory wall here? No, there's not. Are you going to follow me? Oh, dude, look at you. Dedication. Nope, changed his mind. Not as dedicated as previously thought. <laughs> yeah, just get on back there. Shoo. Shoo, you monster. All right. Let's go ahead and drop down. Got some treasure chests here. One of them looks different than the other. A lighter shade with a latch on it. I wonder which one's the mimic. You bitch! You got a washing pole and petrified dragon bone. If you guys don't know, washing pole is the world's longest katana. It's hilarious. It's a, it's a, it's a joke weapon to me, but it's actually, you know, it's not bad. It's just hilarious. Thank you for the titanite slab. Now... Let us continue along this alternate path we found. And meet the hammer shield man. Ow! These guys are not to be trifled with either. I think this is the only one with this specific weapon setup. Ow, you shit! I'm like lagging horribly right now, and it's not fair. I'm leaving. Stop it. Come on. You want to go? You want to make this about you? Good, you actually swung your damn hammer. Your shield's a piece of shit. Oh, God. Put that shield away. Put that shield down. You're just going to block my magic. That's not fair. That's against the rules. Yeah, that's right. Do it. Uh, nothing. Oh, good. He's... Um, hello? <laughs> I was gonna just sit there and be, like, confused, but he woke up at the last moment. Anyway, that guy's a pain in the ass to fight. If you look right here, that's pretty cool looking. That's really cool, actually. This door is badass. I didn't realize that. Let's go ahead and push this open. Ugh. Whack a chest. Open a chest. We've been invaded. But we've also received the third dragon ring. Which, these do not stack, by the way. But the third dragon ring is definitely the best of the three. The extra health, stamina, and equipment load is crazy. It's very good. It's very, very good. Now, we're going to ascend this spiral staircase for what feels like an age. And meet with our invader. Dragon Fang Villard. Looking really crazy cool, honestly. Look how cool this guy looks. He's like in... Uh, he's a dragon. He's a dragon. Come on. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Bitch. My casting speed is horribly slow. I don't know if you've noticed. Now right here we have this intricate... Almost like a cage. With a stone in the middle stone or something oh it's an egg oh we just put that in our pocket then all right well we have received the petrified egg thank you i guess <laughs> go on this way whack a treasure chest open the treasure chest the usual inside here is an extremely strong uh not what i thought it was <laughs> that's the watch dragon parma it's not extremely strong it's relatively not strong Where's the, where's the strong things over there? Okay, let's... <laughs> nice and oriented. I'm glad I studied. Now, these, this, that prick's still down there. I'm being a big douchebag. Crystal magic weapon. All right, let's even the odds a little bit, shall we? Oh, he, he turned the moment I started firing at him. I don't even have the arrows for this. Well, I do, but they're just here. I'll dagger you. I wonder if that makes him feel better or worse. Okay, can you not... There we go. Now you're in a good position for me to laugh at you. Here's some fire. Here's some fire. Here's some fire. Uh, I changed my mind. 
Hey you! Hammer bro! Come on over. I want to show you something. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? This is just going to be a waste of time. <laughs> Hello. Now drop on down back to where we originally... Oh, Ow. You bitch. Jesus. The slams. He's so angry. He's like a raging child. I don't know why you remind me of a raging child, giant hammer man, but you do. I don't know if that's an insult or what, but you're a raging child. Get out. Get out of my house. It's my house now. It's my house. Yeah. Let's go ahead and open this up. And let me tell you what I'm going to do here. There's a long, painful journey to the top of this staircase. It's the worst. And I have never once fought it. And I will continue to never once fight it because there's no reason to. Unless you're looking for specific item drops, which I don't even think there is anything of note here. You go up this way, it's a big, long, just alleyway of death. We got these two coming at you at the same time. They've got a unique weapon, great sword. We're going to ignore them. We're going to go this way. We got these really quick dragon dudes with crazy weapons, which you can probably get by killing them. I don't care. We got two more hammer bros with shields. And another crazy fast dude. And let me tell you something. There are no items on the side. No reason to stop. Just go. Just go. Just go. And when you get to the top. Holy shit. You following me? Get the fuck out of here. Show some goddamn respect. There is a massive dragon. And you can speak to it. Kind of. By speaking to this giant thing, you get the Ashen Mist Heart. It will not speak to you again. The Ashen Mist Heart is a very unique item that we're going to be needing to finish the game. To finally cross whatever that was down in the Throne of Want. But, naturally, we have to kill this. We don't have to, technically, but I'm going to because I um, hate myself. Now we're just going to waltz on up. Big dragon is just like, what up, dude? I'm like, hey, uh, I'm just going to whack your belly a little bit. I hope that's cool. Is that cool, Mr. Dragon? All right, cool. <laughs> this is what I like to call a giant mistake. Because, oh my god, it has more health than you can possibly imagine. And it's not happy. Now, fighting this creature is a very specific kind of encounter. Okay, guys, sorry about that. There was a weird technical glitch. Like, my game crashed, and then all of a sudden I'm playing a different character. It was really bizarre. Anyway, um, so the baiting the breath in front and running to the front foot tactic is all right. I actually find this one to be a little better. I like to call it toe jam. You uh, run to the back feet, and you bait a stomp. You wait for him to shuffle his foot a little bit there. You wedge yourself between the two middle, closer to the center toes. Stand. Wait for the foot to move, jam yourself, get a hit or two in. It's up to you if you want to be brave and go for two. Um, move to the other side, wait for it to shuffle. I usually go for one on this foot because I've seen this one kind of like stomp really early. Um, as long as you're doing this right, he'll never do his below himself breath. Um, if he does, you're probably screwed, but just try and pay attention and then get the hell away from him because he is about to kill you. The only other thing you have to worry about, <laughs> number one, don't get hit. I panicked, I thought I saw a different move moving, um, is 
he'll sometimes do a, a breath where he breathes uh, below himself. Like, he'll reach his head down below his belly and, and breathe. If that happens, just move to the outside of whatever leg it is that you're currently beating the shit out of. And... Oh, jeez. I didn't hit any of that. This might be bad. No. Bad. All right, see, first try. It's really easy, boss. Um, it's just you have to cheese it, which is really frustrating, honestly. <sighs> I don't know why. I feel really weak right now. I don't know why my character change is so bizarre. Um, anyway, so once you've killed him, you actually don't get a soul of the ancient dragon. You get a petrified dragon bone and a soul of a giant, which is, like, one of the biggest discussed lore things in the game. Why was it a giant thing? Were all the dragons here created with giant souls? Is this all just one big farce where someone was trying to recreate dragons? Why is this guy chasing me out into this big field? What is he doing now? I don't know. But we have gotten the Ashen Mist Heart. That is an extremely important item. I am going to return to the Forest of Fallen Giants. That's where we'll be in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. I'll see you next time. I'm done with you people.